who would look at the menu in Tattooed Chef and it's profit. <laughs> and it's delicious. <laughs> Tattooed Chef, and yes, it's another YouTube favorite. Everybody loves this. Guys, please like and subscribe and click the little bell. Ding, 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 ding. The stock bell. I've actually purchased some. I think, Carlos, you're in this position. I'm in this one. What is your average price? Actually, I paid more I'm than it is 20, now. I probably 22. 23. I think okay. I'm at 23. Okay, so we're in 22, 23 bucks. For those who don't know who Tattoo Chef is, they sell plant-based food. So I just want to show some of their products and they're, it's really tasty. And so I'm happy with my purchase of the food and the stock. Moving on to what we all care about is money. <laughs> okay, let's- The money. I do look at charts and technicals. I'm not an expert technical trader, but this looked to me like almost a cup and handle or a W pattern. Either way, the two could be bullish, by the way. So there's a W pattern happening here. You see it clearly? Yes. Or, or there's like a cup and handle pattern happening. My point is it looks very bullish. So the previous high was around $27 and it quickly just tanked. You could see it tanked all the way down back in October. To 16. Even lower, 14. So that, that's December 2nd. That's like yeah. about a month ago. So look, it bounced off the 200 day. All the averages crossed and it was very bearish for a little bit. But then... Look at the moving averages. They're starting to move up. And the 21 day, I believe I have the 21 day. Yes, is the above 21 the 50 day and the now. 50? The blue yeah. is the 50? Yeah. So when I noticed this part of it, and I noticed this little pullback, that's when I actually got into the position because I was like, oh, this is either a W pattern, which could be bullish, or a cup and handle, which is definitely bullish. I wasn't yeah. sure which one. Either way, I think it's bullish. Uh, so I got in around here, maybe, uh, well, 20 to 24 average was around 23 probably. And I don't even mind because now this is playing out in a like a perfect channel, it looks like. Anywhere between January 7th and the 13th, Dude. you should have the final consolidation and then the stock has a, a choice. It's going to make a big move. That's the thing. It's not making a little move here. It's going to make a big move. It's, and uh, it's right. It's either going to go up or it's either going to go down. Right. And my bet is obviously that, that it's it going to go like up it's, when it's getting close to 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't wait. If you want to buy into this stock, you have two choices, either buy now and just take the risk or wait for this breakout. If it's above on one of these days above this trend line. So let's say, let's say tomorrow or two days, then you, if it's above like $24 in saying, the next yeah, couple of days, 24 bucks. Yeah. That's pretty much a sign. It's moving up. It's, like it's breaking out, yeah. out. It doesn't mean it's going to break through 27, but I honestly think it, if the stock is that bullish, it, it's touching it for the third time now. And it might bounce around 27. I don't know. Or just break it. But in a bull market, if you touch the 27 once, you touch it twice, and then you touch it for a third and fourth time, I don't think it's holding the $27. No, yeah, eventually you're going to pop through. And that means the, the move is probably around to 32, 33. And there's a reason for that again, because usually the move is the same as what happened before. So if this is the move up here, this move will probably be similar from 27 to 33. We haven't talked much about options on this, but essentially every week, there, there's going to be some options expired. I just wanted to take a look at the options and see what the price points are. See how many people have the, you know, what the open interest is on some of these. Yeah, let's see some of these options. Essentially, some of the buying and selling that you could see could be more attributed to what's happening on the options market versus what's actually happening with the stock. So these are the people that bet the stock was going to drop. These are people that bet the stock was going to go up. You have two thousand people who bought it at fifteen, seventeen. There's a lot look, of look, options. Look, 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 this is actually important. Yeah, the thirty-five. It's Woo! inspiring. Then there, look at that. Look at the open interest. So it's 13,000 12, people. Yeah, there's 12,000 people 13, that purchased people, yeah. that oh, 13,000 people that purchased this contract that's expiring, you know, expiring in a, you know, what uh, a week. The options market is bigger than the traditional <laughs> stock market. If you can, if you can believe that, because these are bets that people are making on what the price action of the stock's going to move. Tattoo right, right, is in remember. a really good price point for this thing because moves of five, six dollars don't really affect too much of the market cap, but that's where you can really make money. You have like forty. It's about 40,000 people that have purchased the right to purchase 100 shares of this company at these different prices. So there could be more people with limit orders. We don't know about those. Volume and open interest both describe the liquidity and activity. Volume refers to the number of trades completed each day and is an important measure. Open interest reflects the number of contracts that are held by traders in active positions ready, ready to be traded. So out of the 13,000 contracts that were open, 
Uh, 450 of those contracts were closed on that day. The call options at, it looks like 35 cents for $30. Right. If you think it's going over $30 though, and 30 cents, yeah, you can make a killing because it's only 30 cents for per share. So 33,000 contracts and each contract represents 100 shares. That's 3.3 right. 3 million shares of this company. And they only have 65 million. Okay, so 5%. So essentially 5% of the shares of this company are locked up in call options. Our last day of trading, the volume was 89. That means that 89 of these contracts were either sold, you know, bought out or converted into shares prior to their expiration date. Just let's look at the $30 one. Uh, only 10% roughly have been closed compared to yep. what's still open. That means that's a bullish signal to me, at least. I could be interpreting it the way I want to, but that looks like if they're leaving it open, then they mm -hmm. think something's going to happen. You know what I mean? The put um, options would be people betting that the stocks are going to go down. And like Vitaly said, you have 13,000 people thinking it's going to go 235. And there are 5,000 people that want to be able to sell it at 35. This was uh, the 31st, the last day of trading. As it drops, you see these are going up. So someone wins this call option. If, if this stock tanks, they were able to sell 100 shares at $35. So basically, nobody really thinks it's in the thousands here. Uh, if you look at $22 and less, $20, $17.50, $15, mm -hmm. there's much less people who think that that's going to happen than, yeah. the, than the calls. That's what mm -hmm. it looks like. Well, look, even even here, the recommended rating is 2.5. It's between a buy and a hold. And I don't know if they're talking about the options for it or just the puts. No, they're talking about both. They're talking about the stock. Average yeah. price targets are 22. It's sitting at 22.89. High is 26, low 18. What does all this mean? Let's just take, look at one over. last time. As soon as we are above this line, it's bullish. You should be buying it if you, you be want in. the stock. You should be in already. You should well, be Well, look, look, some people are trading it. I don't know. I can't control if people are trading it. This Let us know in the comments below if a stock like this is something that you're trading, where you're looking to make money on these dips and valleys, or if this is something that you want to invest long term. I don't know about you, but I, if I make a two, three X on my money, I'm going to pull it out. But this is something I actually would hold for a long time. I, I would pull out half trade. maybe at the two, three X, because I think oh. this is a good company long term. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would keep this one long term. Yeah. This is not one that I would just just eliminate from the portfolio, you know, like so, there's some other stock that I would just get rid of once I make the money, just take everything, including my initial investment out. We're just telling you something's going happening this week. The charts are saying something's going to happen massively. The other piece of news that I think is, is bullish too. The RSI is no longer at the peak. That's why it tanked, right? Yeah. It's now trading much more reasonably and let's hope it actually trades. I drew some lines of the RSA of like the points where it, it touched before. But if the RSA trades even down a little bit towards, uh, let's say 50, I would say just an, that's another sign that that's-, that's another, No, if it gets down to 50. But again, remember, we were talking about this yesterday, yeah. the RSI, Bingo's RSI was at, you know, is it 80 or something? Yes, like and it might stay there for God knows how long. So it's possible we go to 30, 27, and over that to 33. It's also possible we go down to the, the 200 today. But- once again, I'm bullish on the on the stock. I think it's I think it's going up. Is it going to stay twenty two dollars for the whole year? I don't think so. No, it's going to no, go no. up. We're, this is we're literally just, talking. Be... We're talking about a window here. Beyond Meat is ten billion, nine eight to ten billion. Tattoo Chef is one point five billion. I'm not saying they're the same level of company yet, but that's why you buy it early and you wait for the 10 billion. Hold that's on, but what about the viewer of ours that says, but Vitaly, we're always talking about the best way to make the money is small market cap stocks going up to a billion because to go from 500 million to a billion is way easier than one to two. What do you say to that I, person? I say I agree with you, but that doesn't mean that a good company is not going from one to 10. If you believe in the long trajectory of uh, uh, plant-based meat, three billion is like, it, it's silly. It's honestly silly that it's going to hit it Maybe not this week, but it's going to hit the three billion dollar market cap. Okay, so your your conclusion on Tattoo Chef in a sentence. Bye 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 bye. Eat that money, baby. Eat that money. Eat that money.